damage report. Leviathan detected at primary at facility perimeter, closing at high speed. Exterior anchor cable impacted with massive force. Exterior anchor system buckling. Facility sinking. Collision with sea floor. The breach is detected in containment unit 7. Leviathan eggs. Immediate specimen destruction protocol initiated. 314 specimens destroyed. One specimen unaccounted for. Evacuating staff to off-site sanctuaries. Planetary quarantine protocol initiated. Warning, infected individuals may not leave the planet. Huh. It says that the Leviathan in the Leviathan impacted the exterior anchor at massive with massive force. You knew the Leviathans were here, and you're an advanced alien race. I would think that you were you were had things set up to be able to defend against Leviathans, like they could be strong enough to withstand their attacks. But what I'm curious about is that there's a Leviathan skeleton of a ski dra uh, ski dragon of a sea dragon outside that apparently impacted something something impacted its head with such great force that it probably killed it so what if it wasn't a leviathan attack what if it was like a leviathan suicide charge like it ra it bashed into it so hard that it literally killed itself and that was so, and that was such a staggering force so beyond what a normal attack would be that, that it destroyed the facility the question is, why would the Leviathan crash into it so hard that it literally killed itself? So maybe sea dragons are intelligent? Because dragons tend to be intelligent creatures. If it, if it is comparable to a dragon in, in any way, in earth culture myths and whatnot, there's all there's all sorts of monsters and and mega creatures and and so on in in earth mythology stuff, but. A dragon is generally intelligent and capable, maybe even capable of speech or something, but intelligent in its own ways. At the very least, it's sentient, I would say. That's in fact a big ol' reoccurring plot point in uh, the Witcher universe, isn't it? This idea that like people underestimate the intelligence of dragons because they're actually, you know, also people, basically. In fact, they're immortal, long-living people, so they're even more intelligent and self-aware than normal humans tend to be to their long lives. Specimen research data. A catalog of information on the organisms previously contained within the alien facility. A number of entries have been translated. Small herbivore gamma. This entry seems to reference the common peeper. Shows no immunity to infection. Death commonly occurs within four days. Like, this is a deadly disease. Shows symptom remission on exposure to enzyme 42, but symptoms quickly recur. Shows advanced learning behaviors. Shows some capacity to transmit enzymes to other specimens. The peeper is intelligent enough to, like, have learning behaviors? Leviathan embryos. Adult specimen too large to study in containment. Egg specimens acquired from nesting site. Embryos show no signs of immunity. Death commonly occurs within three weeks. Small sample of eggs has been retained for continued high-priority research on Leviathan hatching mechanisms. Large carnivore, carnivore theta. Off-site lab established to study remains. Shows some potential for immunity to infection, but physical remains so far proved insufficient for full reconstruction. Huh. It seems they're talking about all of the... It's, pro it's possibly related to the the fossils I've seen around. There's some big carnivore that's old enough that all they have to do with, deal with is fossils. They say they say it has maybe immunity to infection, but they can't they can't re they can't reconstruct it from remains. So it's some dead thing. This is different from the sea dragon. Namingly because they call it a sea dragon, so it has a name. They wouldn't call it large carnivore theta. But also the sea dragon it seems to have attacked this facility, so it wouldn't be ancient at the time of this document. 
unidentified Leviathan. This Leviathan species has been assigned designator C. Emperor. That's kind of badass. The bone samples from Emperor specimens indicate some potential for Kara immunity. Single specimen captured for study at purpose-built containment facility. Constructed in volcanic region at a depth of 1.4 kilometers. My cyclops can't even go that deep. Yet. <laughs> I need kyanai, don't I? Assessment. While it is unlikely that the emperor specimen is still contained within the facility described, it may be possible to acquire further data there on the alien's attempts to develop a vaccine. 1.4 kilometers deep. It's a good thing I made a mobile base so I could not go all the way back to the surface if I needed something, because we're going so far down. Ah. Yeah, I should be able to make a whole base if I need anything for my that you need a base for, uh, based on the, with, the, with just the materials I have. And then uh, the raw materials that are from the surface, I think I got all of them, I hope. We'll see. Uh, damn. So they're saying that there's a facility deeper down, 1.4 kilometers, that may have something called a Sea Emperor. Primary containment facility. So disease is where we're at right now. 400 meters down further, there's going to be a thermal power facility in a lava area. There's things called Sanctuary A and B, an off-site lab, and the primary containment facility. That's got to be that one, right? Yeah, containment facility, 1.4. So now I know how deep that is. So this is 1,200, this is 1,400. That's not a huge change in, in depth from there. The next big leap is getting to there, but not so much there. It would seem so this is a big deal because we're getting hints at the structure of the campaign again we had early parts which is that we were told you know about the existence of the pods and then we found the when the uh sunbeam i think tried to rescue me we found out about the containment facility and or the first whatever the first facility was called that has the gun and it's like oh this thing's keeping us here and then we found that we were infected. And then more importantly, this, this document was given to us when we found that place that tells us these things exist somewhere. Somewhere. But now we're finally getting context for where these things are and what we need to do to find them and all that. Let's see, we idled for a bit. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go deal with my food situation. But I've got my oxygen pod waiting for me when I need it. Now, what I want to check is what the situation is with, uh... What am I trying to say here? I want to see how the stuff I've found affects our escape plan. Let's take a look at that while I'm in here. The escape rocket. What did I need next? Because I haven't even looked at that for a while. You were kind of running with the general assumption that I probably won't even be able to make it until I've beaten the game, basically. At least the final step or whatever, even if the early steps might be possible. This is... <laughs> this menu is getting a little unmanageable. It's so big. There it is. Yeah, I, I mailed... I, last thing I made was the Neptune Gantry. Yeah, I guess these are all mobile vehicle bay entries. Which is weird, because you make this with the mobile vehicle bay, but you make this with the rocket platform. The launch platform crashed the other steps. I don't know why these aren't their own category, like the Cyclops stuff. Oh, I can make the next piece. The Neptune boosters. You need nickel and aerogel, and I have those now. And we, I guess I won't know what the next step is until I make those. Then we'll find out. Good to know. That's waiting for me back at the surface. But yeah, that's that's more reason to keep adding. Grab all the sulfur, the crystalline sulfur, and uh, nickel, and other resources I find along the way. So even if I don't have uses for them right now, on larger scales, the process of building a freaking rocket to escape in very well could demand those resources. This thing is not navigate very well internally. In 
fact, I don't think it even go can go through there. Uh, that's where we came from. Wasn't there something in this direction? No? Shit. Guess I didn't plan this very well. I can't get past that. Alright, well I have a source of oxygen there. <laughs> That's where we got our data download. Oh, is it? Oh, that's you. I keep thinking like, there's some, like something's coming up on me. This thing's freaky. Is this glass open? It is. Ah. You are big. It almost looks like some kind of regular fish. Well, no, it seems to have arms. Those could just be big skeletal fins, though, for how... Like, it, something that big probably needs more of a support structure. That looks like the, the... These look like the blood oil plants. Or rib cages all around. Generally speaking, these environments are usually really enclosed. Hey buddy. Welcome to my inventory. <laughs> There you go. Go free. Just grabbing them because it'll give me the two blueprints for eating them, basically. Might as well add those to the list. I'm probably missing a bunch of those because I don't necessarily grab every organism. Feels kind of unnecessary. Intensive study. Intensive study. Are you androids? I think they're androids. I think, yeah, warper parts. Warpers aren't alive, seemingly. Are they artificial? Self-warping quarantine enforcer unit. So that's why the that's why there's warpers outside, and also the warpers appear to be from this facility. Pertaining to the bacteria is being downloaded. Caution: detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self scan is strongly advised. Working on it. First, I've got to not die. What am I going to find out? Self-scan complete. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Medical report recorded to date to bank. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. Ah. Oh, I'm getting worse. I was a little- I was pressing tab to open my inventory because I was going to take my gloves off to see if my hands looked weird, but then a cutscene happened that shows exactly that. Well, shit. I mean, going into this facility probably didn't help me at all. This is the seemingly the source of the infection on this planet or something. It's weird how they're all like little display cases. Is this all that's left on this planet? I mean, not planet, this facility? I think it's just this room. 
so this might be the large carnivore the document was about. The one that's not a sea dragon and also not a sea emperor. Its head is huge, but that might be its whole body? Not really sure if that's like it's just its skull or its whole body. The, all the plates make me think it's, that, that might be its entire body, kind of. Or most of it. Right, that's the Ion Cube platform. You're stressing me out, Ion Cube platform. Can I break this out? Nope. I'm not that cool. Maybe I don't get attacked when I'm in my prawn suit because it looks like a warper. <laughs> it kind of looks like a warper. Keep it going. Don't get stuck. Let's get back to the Cyclops and do some reading. Bwam! Whoop! Get me in there. Get me in- get me in there. Save me. No! Get me in there. Get me in there! <laughs> Ah, Cyclops. It's remarkable how awkward the the Cyclops to prawn suit uh, transfer always is. Is there anything in there? No. Not currently. There we go. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. <laughs> Atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. Bacterial infection is spread to the skin and pulmonary system. Alright, uh... Hey, music, you want to calm down? Is something happening right now? Or are you just bored? Did you get bored? Just start making noise? I think he just got bored. Oh, we got a bunch of new things. Okay. Uh... Kara Contagion Profile. This terminal contains extensive data regarding the bacterial contagion identified as Kara. Discovery. First encountered during routine network expansion in Outer Worlds. Pandemic development. Network error resulted in routine quarantine procedure failure. Contagion was uploaded to, and quickly spread through, the core worlds. Confirmed deaths, 143 billion individuals. Bacterial mechanisms attaches to healthy living cells and mutates the basic genetic structure. Symptoms, stage 1. Gradual immune system failure. Stage 2. Skin, green skin lesions and flu-like symptoms. Stage 3. Unpredictable alterations to biological structure. Stage 4. Complete shutdown of executive function. Emergency steps taken. Coral worlds quarantine. Bacterial samples distributed to isolated disease research facilities for vaccine development. Treatment procedure unknown. Blah. Back from a little sneezing fit. There we go. Alright. So that document seems to suggest that they have, like, this interstellar or intergalactic or whatever, like, massive society. And then they find this contagion that they must have spread to the core worlds before they even realized what was happening. And then they were just totally fucked. They quarantined the core worlds. And then they have isolated research facilities like this one on rain, on strange planets. They put this th the stuff on, and they don't know how to fix it. All right, so they can't fix their own d the disease. That's not good, because I need them to fix it. <laughs> Please fix it. <laughs> I'm here. Was there a picture that had gloves on it? I think I accidentally like opened one and didn't read it or something. I think it might have been pre-opened somehow. 
We'll see. It's, it might be up here. There's a lot of there's a lot of, of development happening here. Self warping quarantine enforcer unit. This life form shows signs of heavy genetic modification and extensive mechanical grafting. Its digestive and pulmonary systems have been replaced by an onboard battery receiving energy directly from the main grid and distributed it around the body. Miniaturized phase technology has been implanted beneath the skin and is triggered by the central nervous system, allowing the construct to teleport at will. The brain and central nervous system have been digitally augmented with uh, advanced processing power and remote communications. It's a programmable hunter-killer avoid. So this thing is designed to enforce the quarantine. It might have not been hostile at first. Maybe that's why I was able to get so close to that one and scan it and just hang out. Is that maybe I wasn't infected yet? That was a while ago. Warper parts. The organic parts in display contain N uh, DNA from dozens of different organisms, largely originating off-world. They are in varying states of augmentation with advanced technologies. This production line setup suggests that self-warping constructs were built, maintained, and deployed by the aliens that designed this facility. Huh. We're done with coats and clues for now, I think. Deceased. Remains of research specimen. The skeletal remains of a vast predator housed within an artificial habitat. Habitat. The environment constructed to house the specimen suggests that it was kept alive in containment for research purposes for months or even years. Organic matter indicates the habitat once supported extensive plant life, though it has since decayed. When the facility collapsed, the specimen was either left to die or killed on the spot. Right, because they talked about, uh... They talked about having a procedure where they wipe everything out if the place is, uh... Is... if the place is, uh... Compromised, which it was attacked by a leviathan and fell, and then when when it was being destroyed as a result of that, the uh, automatic facility... I assumed it was automatic, made by the facility, but it might have been staff that were doing it, but uh, all of the specimens in the entire facility were destroyed. Probably because, you know, it's a... It's a virus research building, so you don't want anything else getting out. But one sample got out. Whether that was... It could have been related to, like, the eggs or whatever of the... Like, the 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 sea emperor. Or it could have been the a sample of the Kara disease that got out and infected everyone here. Evolution. While it shares some skeletal traits with the biter and sand shark, including its distinctive double eye sockets, this fossilized specimen is significantly larger and features unusual forearms, rarely seen in aquatic species. The species has likely got extinct in the past thousand years, and its evolutionary relatives have gone almost have evolved beyond recognition. It does have the double eye sockets, though arms are weird. That's reoccurring. Wait, it has an exoskeleton and a skeleton? It has the, like the outside like chitin plates, and then it has a rib cage under that. Huh. I feel like I wouldn't expect that. Ray species. I didn't miss, miss anything else here. Oh, there it is. That's that's the one that I that was already open. When I opened my PDF again. Bacterial infection report. You have been infected with a previously unknown waterborne bacterium. It is currently multiplying in your bloodstream. Estimated incubation time two weeks. Your immune system is currently combating the infection at low effic effic efficacy. You may already be experiencing flu-like symptoms and skin irritation. These will likely be exasperated as the bacterium takes hold. Your immediate priority should be abatement and eradication of the infection. Recommended steps, salvage further alien research data on a possible vaccine. Investigate the mechanisms which have enable enabled the indigenous ecosystem to inhabit the symptoms, inhibit the symptoms of the infection. I need to go eat some peepers. 
Because the peepers have this enzyme. Ray species on 4546B. Different species of ray indigenous to 4546B, each adapted to different environments. The specimens are 99.99% .99 genetically identical to those encountered on the planet today, suggesting that rays in particular have undergone little evolutionary mu mutation in the past millennium. Ghost rays, jelly rays, crimson rays, and rabbit rays likely all share a common uh, evolutionary ancestor. The alpha ray would have evolved deep in the ocean trenches, quickly growing in line with available food supplies. It would have most resembled uh, the ghost ray in size and appearance with translucent skin for camouflage and foreign mounted eyes for hunting. A fast and fearsome stalker of smaller creatures in the dark. Have I seen a crimson ray? I've seen the other ones. While some rays have stayed within the limits of the cave systems where they first evolved, others are relatively more recent adaptations to new environments, likely the results of overpopulation. All the rays in 4546b have given up predation in favor of herbivorous herbivorous herbivore herbivore herbivorous the, emph the emphasis on the syllables is confousing. <laughs> uh, scavenging and use poisonous flesh to protect themselves. Sea dragon egg. Why is it so spiky? This large egg is held in a hermetically sealed environment and has been chemically sterilized. Without the means at the facility to house a fully grown sea dragon specimen, it is possible the aliens sought to study instead the egg laying and incubation process. To what end is unclear. Maybe to see if the babies themselves or the eggs might hold the enzyme they need without having to deal with a full size sample. And yeah, we've been through all that stuff mostly. I'll let some of that stuff idle for now. It's tempting to go into that stuff too while we're at it, but no, I've been, I've been breeding for a bit. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. All filled up. That one tablet's the only one I actually ended up needing while I was in there. You load, damn you. There we go. Can I just point out how amazingly high detail and beautiful that screenshot is, considering the game was a pre-rendered game that came out like 20 years ago? It's just kind of remarkable that it even isn't a resolution that looks that good. At all. Put you guys back. We're done with you at the moment. Cool. Which way do I go? Good question. Let's do some exploring. Yeah, I'm wondering. That time I scanned one of them, was I infected yet? So maybe he wasn't attacking me because I wasn't infected. I was just like, yeah, you do you, whatever. You literally don't matter to me because I am not even a sentient living creature. I am just an android that scans for infected shit and then kills it, probably. Uh, based on that idea, he probably wasn't... Didn't even care about me if, if I wasn't infected yet. Or if I wasn't sufficiently infected yet or showing symptoms or something. Let's see, so back past the facility would be how I get back to the base, right? Or back to the central hub. But I think there's more directions than that. Engine powering up. Let's power up. 